Hello everybody, my name is Akshit and I'm currently studying at RSIT in the Department of Data Science and I'm currently in my sixth sem. Today we will be discussing about minimum edit distance, which is a concept under natural language processing. Before we begin, let's understand how the how or what minimum edit distance means. So minimum edit distance can also be represented by this particular matrix or the distance component, which is also written as a distance of i and j. So that what that basically shows is the minimum distance between the source string and the target string, which needs to be edited to convert the source string to the target string. Simple concept. Now let's move on to the three operations on the formulas that will be used to execute minimum edit distance or to perform the functions involved in minimum edit distance. Starting off with deletion. So the, the operation or the formula that will be used is distance of i minus one and j plus one. So as I've written over here, this particular deletion operation, what happens? So we basically delete the characters from the source string if there is no match. Say, for example, you have a string cat. Now, if you have to convert it to CA, you need to delete CAT. So you're basically eliminating the a character from this source string to obtain the target string. Moving on to insertion, there is a slight change in the formula. Here, rather than it being i minus one, it is i and j minus one plus one. Now, as I've written over here, here rather than deleting characters from the source string, we insert characters to the target string. Say if you start with CA and, now the, and your target string is CAT. So to make so the source string into the target string, you basically insert a character T into the target string. That is insertion function. Now coming to distance, the third one, that is your substitution. The formula is distance i minus one and j minus one plus the substitution cost of x i and y i. So if the characters, do, so say if you have an example, say cat and bat. Here we notice that the other two letters are the same while the first letter of the source string changes to the B in a target string. So in order to convert it from C to B, we use substitution. If if say if the characters do match, then the substitution cost is zero. But if it doesn't match, the substitution cost is one. So in this case, the substitution cost will be distance of i minus one and j minus one plus one. Why? Because there's a difference between C and B. Understood? Now, we have understood the formulas and the operations to be used. We understood how each component works. Now let's move on to a, a another example and let's understand how a minimum edit distance algorithm is used and how a table is made in order to notice how the changes are made to the letters to obtain from the, so the target string from the source string. As you can see in this table, I have mentioned a source string and a target string. Our source string being tutor and our target string being tumor. Now, uh, I will give you a sh short trick to understand this easier. So your first step in this, in order to obtain this final answer has to be making the, remembering to make the table in the right, right manner. So you have, as you see, you have these hash symbols and you have the target string and you have the source string. So once you've made this table, start the hash and hash uh, box at zero and just count the number of strings or the, uh, now count the number of characters and make this particular matrix on the first row and first column. Now, in this particular uh, what do you call it? formula algorithm or whatever you want to call it the topic you have to notice this diagonal i i will tell you why as we go step by step so we have obtained zero everybody got the zero one two three four five six zero one two three four five six okay now let's move on to the second part so here we have a t now we have a t over here but then we notice that there is no change made from T to T if we compare T and T. 
there's no cost, right? So let's just keep it as zero as there is no cost or no process required for it to change from T to T. Now, as we have put zero, now just mark it again from zero to one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. The reasoning behind us marking it as one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four. So say from T2, you have to convert it into TU. So you already have one, zero, okay? Because there's no change from T to T. Now to convert from T to TU, you need to insert one character, right? So there you will need to make one change. From T to TU, you have two changes and so on. You obtain this values, these values, okay? And in the same manner, you obtain this column. Say from T to TU or T to TUT, you obtain this. Understood this much? All set, okay. Now moving on to the next one. From TU and TU, we notice there's zero changes, right? Now, you see the one over here. That is because from TU to TUM, the conversion rate, the cost is one because you need to add one, one other character to make it from TU to TUM. That same logic is followed across the entire row and in the same manner across the entire column. So we have done this, this and this. Now this is where you should concentrate. So now we have TUT, but we notice that it is TUM. So we have TU, we have TU. So there is zero, there, there is no change required. But from TUT to TUM, you need to make one change. That is substitute T into M as we learned over here, what the, how it is done. Understood? So we notice there'll be one change. So that is the one change. You put one over here. Understood this part? Now, after obtaining this one, the other steps remain the same. TUT to TUMO, you will need two changes because T to M and then you have to add another character O. And then that moves on. Same thing over here. Understood? So we are done with the most of the part. Now coming to TUTO. O and O remains the same, but still you need to make that one change, which, which is still carried on from TUTO to TUMO. So you put the one over here. Now as the one comes over, you as there's only one change required, the one, 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 one is carried over here. Then the rest is, remains the same from TUTO to TUMOU, it's two and then the rest is three, this is two. Got it? So we have obtained this, we have obtained this. Now these are the most important parts. So you have TUTOR, but here you have TUMOU. We'll take it step by step. So from TUTOR to TUMOU, there will be one change from T to M as mentioned here. And there will be one change from R to U, that is plus one. So as you notice this column, right? As there is no change from zero from T to T, and there's no change from U to U, and there is no change from T to, and there's one change from T to M, no change from O to O. So zero, 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 plus one, because there's one change T and M, no change plus zero, the O and O, and then plus one change R and U. This two is obtained. Now the last one remains the same because it's from R to R. There's no cost. So after obtaining this entire table, if we just take it as strings from TUTOR to TUMOUR, you will notice we will make two changes. One is a substitution change. Other is also a substitution change which an, which, with an addition. So that this is, this is count, counted as one, one change. So you notice this final answer obtained is also two. So the main aim of making this entire matrix is to obtain this or this table is to obtain this final answer as, as the number of changes you will be making to, to the minimum number of changes you'll be making to obtain this, to obtain the target spring. That is how minimum edit distance works. That's all for today. And I hope you understood this entire topic in a more clearer and vivid, vivid manner. Thank you.